So let me show you how you can do some quick treatment plan entry very, very easily uh, with Open Dental and a lot faster than you can write it down uh, in a chart. So we've got a new patient here, Dewey Duck. Uh, first time we've seen him today, so he doesn't have anything in his chart. And what we're going to do is go through and I'll show you how I handle a new patient exam, but I'll also show you in the process um, how you can vary it any way that you want so that you can include anything that you want. Now all we're going to do is the tooth chart and the treatment plan uh, and the existing restorations here. We're not going to do the soft tissue exam and so forth. I can show you that in another video and for that we're going to use some auto notes which is also very fast. But we'll assume that we've already done all the soft tissue exam and now we're just going to go through and put the things in that pertain to the teeth and the treatment. Okay, so there's my tooth chart up there. The first thing that I do is remove all the missing teeth. And all I have to do is go in and click on the missing teeth. So I'm going to click on 116, 17, and 32. And also, poor Dewey here doesn't have his front teeth, so I'm going to take those out. I'm then going to go up here to this tab that says missing teeth, because that's what we're going to do. Click on that and click on missing. Now, if I made a mistake and said, oh, you know what, 16's impacted, it's not there. That's okay, I can put it back. All right, so it's reversible because everybody makes mistakes. Well, as a matter of fact, 16's really not there, so I'm gonna take it out again. All right, so that's how I very quickly go in and put in my missing teeth. That's the first thing that I do. The next thing I do is click on this treatment tab here and I want to be sure that I, because I'm going to chart some existing restorations, and I want to be sure that this is the one that I have clicked down here that says existing other. In other words, another another provider other than me. And so I can click on that right there. And what I put in here are existing crowns uh, and endos and any prosthetics. If there was a partial or whatever, I'd probably put that in there too. So let's say that Dewey has had a couple root canals here. Uh, I've clicked on existing other. Now I'm going to go over here under procedure list. I can put in any procedure code I want up there, but there's quicker ways to do it. Uh, I'm going to go down here to all, and I'm going to say that those teeth have had root canals already. Here's my root canal guy right down here. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, boom. I just put two root canals in. They're in green because they were done by this other provider. Well, if they had root canals, they probably also had crowns, and so I've got a crown icon right up here. Usually, existing crowns are porcelain fused to metal, and so that's why I've got that one up there. I'm gonna show you some other ones here in just a minute. If you wanna put in existing restorations, you can't, existing fillings, you can, let me just select two teeth. I'm gonna go up to my quick buttons up here first, and I'm gonna say these are amalgams, okay? I've got composites, posterior composites, anterior composites, and amalgams. And I'm gonna say these are both posterior MOD amalgams, okay? And maybe this guy down here uh, just has an MO. All right, so very quickly you can go through and put in existing restorations if you want to. I don't because I'm gonna do photographs, clinical photographs, and I think that's that's much better way to do it, much better documentation, plus I have x-rays that document it. So you do it however you want to, but any existing restorations, you wanna make sure you got that little button clicked right there. Now I'm ready to put in some treatment. So I'm gonna go up here to my treatment plan. I'm no longer charting existing restorations, I'm doing treatment plan. If I make a mistake, it's okay, I can fix it, it's not a big deal. But now I'm gonna go into my treatment plan. Now I went through the whole mouth first and told the assistant, okay, these are the missing teeth. These are the teeth that have endos and let's say there was another crown in there first and also and I would put that in there, okay? So we've got the major existing stuff already in there. Now we're gonna go back and tooth by tooth decide what treatment I wanna do. All right, so let's go up, first of all, number two, we're gonna do an MO composite right there. All I have to do is click on this button. And there it is in my treatment plan. 
Okay, uh, these two teeth, I'm going to select two teeth here, and I'm going to do MOD composites. Okay, let's so just say I like to do amalgams too. So let's select these two teeth, and they just need MO amalgams each. They have to be the same surfaces in order to select multiple teeth like that. But very fast, very easy to do that. Now let me show you another really neat trick. I'm going to go over here to All again. So I have all these procedures that I put in here. Now these are customizable and I've set these up a certain way. And we can set these up for you or Open Dental can set them up for you. But just kind of get an idea of how they're used. Let's say that poor Dewey, he's a mess here. He needs to have an endo on that tooth and that tooth and that tooth. Okay, now you notice I picked an anterior bicuspid and a posterior. And I'm going to treatment plan endos, posts, and crowns and all I'm going to do is click on one button right here endo buildup and PJC okay boom one click not only did I put the treatment plan in there but open dental is smart enough to know which procedure codes go with what so it knows that this is a posterior number 19 is a posterior tooth it knows that number 20 is a bicuspid and it knows that number 22 is an anterior all by itself. I didn't have to do that. So very fast, very easy. Let's do something else. Poor Dewey's walking around here with no front teeth. Oh, poor Dewey. And he'd like to get a fixed bridge up there. I'm just going to slide over and select all six of those teeth. And I'm going to do a double abutted fixed bridge up there. So I selected all my teeth. I'm going to go back to all here. I'm going to slide up. i got all sorts of things in here, and one of them is a PFM bridge. I'm going to click on that. So how many mouse clicks was that? You know, I slid across there, I went over here and found my PFM bridge and clicked on that. And automatically, it not only put in the bridge, but it, cho it chose the right code. So it knows which is a retainer and which is a ponic, all automatically and put those guys in there for me, okay? Very fast, very easy, really, really slick. So here's my retainers and there's my Ponic, all automatically. So the idea is you can chart extremely quickly, particularly when you're putting in new treatment, um, much faster than you can do it on paper. If you'd still like to have a paper copy, print it out from the treatment plan and you can put it in the chart that way. You know, don't do double work. Don't write it on the paper once and then go and put it in the computer. So this is something that the chair sides and the hygienist should be very quick at doing because this is the way you're going to enter the treatment. We can go in and look at the treatment plan in here. And there's my treatment plan. And if I want to print it, I can show the tooth chart and so forth. I can also divide it up into phases um, and into different options as well. Maybe we're going to do a partial instead of that fixed bridge. So there's lots and lots of possibilities here, but I'm not going to get into those because this video is meant just to show you how to enter the treatment. So very quick, very easy. Practice a little bit on Donald Duck um, in your uh, office, and so everybody gets a crack at entering the treatment. Now let me show you one other thing that's real useful if you've entered all this treatment in Donald Duck and the next guy comes along uh, and wants to use Donald too, but you filled up all these teeth. If you just select everything and right mouse click and go to delete, it'll say, do you want to delete those things? And say yes, All right, and it deleted everything out. It doesn't delete out the existing, okay? But it deleted out all that treatment I put in for Dewey. So practice with Donald Duck. When you get done, you can delete it all out. If you post anything completed, you gotta go in and delete that or at least make it a zero charge, otherwise it'll screw up your day sheet. Okay, but the existing, when you post existing, that there's no charges associated with that. Okay, that's it. Pretty quick and easy.